Where do you come from? Victoria. Kenya. Mama, where do you come from? Lutheran. They are coming from Mozambique, Maputo. Mozambique. Yes. Is that your wife? Yes. Where are your children? This one is in Mozambique. Mm. Is it from you? Yes. With her? Yes. Okay. Uh, Mozambique, which I think we must go to Mozambique. Yes, it's going to be a good thing. You are a pastor? Yes. Mm. So you must come to Mozambique. Which side of Mozambique? Maputo. Straight in town? If the church is in town. Yeah. Mm. Good. You must come to Mozambique. Oh, it's going to be good. So, I think to me, I would love to travel to Africa now. Oh. I was telling you. Yes, you came to me, when was that? Um, Wednesday. Wednesday. You came to greet me. Yeah. So it's from Kenya. Yes. So I wish uh, places like Kenya. You're welcome. Uh, I need to come. Yes, yes. Maybe two days crusade. Because they're on top there. Yes. Many people are playing. <laughs> Kenya, Ghana. <laughs> Go in that side of Nigeria, Asia, that's a lot of problems. The things that people are doing now, uh, you check, uh, we are really tarnishing the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And we need to change that. Always I tell people when you are a pastor, you must be faithful, and you must be honest. You know, because this thing does not end here when you pray sleep. There will be a time where you, God must ask you questions. Mm -hmm. Why did you do this? Why did you do it? You know, all those things. So faithfulness as a pastor, it helps out. You must not travel anywhere. Okay. You hear me? Yes. Because I see you, 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 you are going to prepare your passport in a visa. <laughs> okay. Mm. Don't travel any. Okay. I'm sure you are hearing me. I understand. You know what I'm saying. Yes, yes. Because to me, I see you even in the US. Yes, Canada. That was the plan. North America. Yes. When do you want to go? I was already there. Working there for seven years. You want to go back? And that was something which I was going to. That's why you are here. <laughs> That's one thing. <laughs> but I'm sure I didn't speak with you, didn't you? No. Did we talk? No. Imagine now I'm telling him, don't go back. He wants to go back. <laughs> Did you tell anyone here? No. Do you have a friend? See how God works. And I haven't started to, uh, to see you. <laughs> I know why you are here. One, the issue of travel. Two, <coughs> marriage. Three, business. Four, ministry. You see how I know you. But I always tell our visitors, there's nothing that we can do for you. It's only Jesus who can help you. Jesus. You hear me, Mama? Who can help you? Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing. He was referring to us pastors. You know, you, when I ask you about where are your children, because I want you to defeat the spirit of your family. Yes. Because I see people that have a chair and everywhere. Yes. Different people. Yes, my father. Yes. My father has different you, you grew up with no one guiding you. Yes. It's because true. You saw the background of the family. And you, you really must thank God because you are a pastor now. Thank you. Because to me, when I look at you, I said, uh, I said, where are your children? Because I don't want you to have children. I said, is it with this one? Yes, yes. Because 
Uh, we look at the family uh, as a brother, see children everywhere. Yeah, father has yeah. different children. So yeah. you must break this problem. Yes, amen. Do you hear me? Amen. You must break it. You know, because when you are married, expect challenges. Amen. You don't expect everything to be sweet all the time. Yes. And it's not, uh, your family is not a, a, a family where someone marry one person. Yes. And get satisfied. Yeah. No. It's a polygamous people. Hmm. You know, they want to be here, be there, be there, yeah. be there. From there, this case now will continue. Hmm. So, but as I said, I'm trusting God that you will break this problem. Amen. But as long as you know the problem of the family, yes. you cannot defeat a problem that you don't know. Yes. The first miracle is to know the family problem. Yes. When you look and say, oh, okay, this is where my father has failed. Yes. This is where my uncles have failed. Yes. Uh, me, I will defeat this thing. And it will work easy. It will work so easy. And so can we start? And when you are here, can you pray? Please, uh, find time to pray. When you come here, you pray. That's what I talk to you all the time. When you go down there, you pray. The land is also very big. And you to the road, wherever you want to hide, you can hide. And you pray to your God. And from there, Jesus will help you. Amen. 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 Jesus will do it. Amen. You know, if we live without prayer, it's as good as we are dead bodies. We are as good as dead. With prayer. Now I'm here. If I tell the time that I slept on, you say, but where do you get the energy of being here? So we, we, we are all to pray as the children of God. So I'm just encouraging you. This weekend, let it be a weekend of your You search for your God. You pray. There's a, a church that is called to pray and do something. Even you must pray and do something. Else. Amen. Amen. Jesus. 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 Receive this power now, brother. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Come on. 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 Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man. Oh. Name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. You're free, sir. You're free.
sell my mind I'm anointed to be a prophet. To be a prophet. Say I'm a prophet. I'm a prophet. To have it Jesus. Yes. My God, my God. It's 
As you can see this place, just look at that, I mean something like that. Ah, if we hear something has happened with this. Even the fear has gone. But this man also has a ring doubt. Yeah, I was doubt. Eh? Because then people were talking to me, they were saying, no, you are not, you are not, you are just a pastor. No. Yeah, no, 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 let's look at that. Thank you, Jesus, for this life. So what I'm saying is what prophet told me yesterday. Yes, yes. So you see. So you can do all the time. Uh, shalom. My name is Edson Dos Anjos. I'm coming from Mozambique, Maputo. She's my wife. She is called Domingas. Uh, and uh, we, we are living there in Maputo, Mozambique. Uh, we just came for mostly uh, about ministry, certain confirmations that we wanted, and also business, and certain things that we wanted also. About ministry, there is something that I, we wanted to know because many uh, we were hearing many things about the same subject so we wanted a certain confirmation and uh, when we sat with the prophet that was the first thing that he he he, he spoke to us he confirmed at the, at the same moment that we sit down he began to talk about that so he confirmed and we are very clarified about that now Okay, there is also the subject of uh, certain challenges in, in the ministry, church growth, and some other, other, other things. The main issue was about, about the office that I was supposed to, to do. Because they were hearing very, very different things. And that was confirming me. I wanted to have a confirmation, and when I, I sat with him, I don't know if I, I'm supposed to say, okay, when, when we sat down, the first thing that he said is that this is now a time for you to begin to be used as a prophet, because you are called as a prophet, but I was hearing different things there in Mozambique, and this thing was confusing me, not because I wanted to be a prophet, but I just wanted to know what I am, yeah. so he confirmed. And he prayed for me, and we are happy. Yeah, he said that this is the time for God begin to use you as a prophet because you are called to be a prophet. And uh, there is a lot of things that people were saying, and many people uh, discourage you, and you begin to feel yourself down, and you begin to think about other things while you are really called to be a prophet. So now, don't be discouraged and. Uh, and uh, and God is going to use you from from today. This is what He was saying, because this was really a subject that was causing certain confusion in in my own mind. You know, He was talking also about some things that we were we were discussing in this morning about land that we want for the church, land that we want also for us. So He began to talk about that about that and also about the house. There is a plan of a house that we are thinking about, he was talking about that. And also business that we are about to do, he was confirming that that's the business for you to do. I feel like very light, very clear. Now things are very clarified. Because to have a direction is very important. 
now we have a direction now we know what to do no now we know uh, what is the direction to for us to follow so now we are, happy. we are very happy and we want to encourage the past and the people for for them to come also because the because the lord is using the the, the, the man of god here now um, concerning my wife the prophet prophesied about uh, business because she lost the job recently and she was a bit depressed because of that. The prophet uh, prophesied about that and said that there is a business that uh, is coming to her, the business of selling and there are many things are, are the things that he was saying. Viewers around the world, um, we want to encourage for you to come here to visit. The place is very, is very beautiful and uh, I believe that the, the men of God here, they are very anointed and I believe that your situation is going to be addressed and the Lord is going to give you direction. So come and visit this place. So you also had an opportunity of sitting down with the Apostle one-on-one. -on -one. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Yes, we had the opportunity to sit with the Apostle. We came here seeking for deliverance and direction from, direction for ministry. So when we sat with the apostle, uh, the, same thing, the first thing that he said was about a certain case in my family uh, of, of having babies with different wives. So he prophesied to me about that and he prayed for me and delivered me about that. And also he prophesied to me about ministry where he was saying that now it's time for God to begin to use you as a prophet because you are called to be a prophet and God is about to begin to use you because God, God is you opening your eyes, is opening your ears and you will begin to be used by God. Yeah. About Mama, is, uh, he prophesied about certain healing, about certain condition that she have here uh, in, in the tummy, but he prayed and he said that he's healed. Amen. Yeah. And so how do you feel after a one-on-one -on -one session with the Apostle and Prophet Andres? Uh, we are feeling very, very blessed. Uh, we are feeling light and we are feeling directed. Now we know what we have to do. And now we are free and we want to encourage everybody that are seeing us so that you can come also and receive your deliverance and direction. Yes.